Hello students, myself Patricia, your English teacher. Students, today we are going to learn grammar chapter 18, verbs. Students, you have already learned verbs in class 3. Today we shall see more about verbs in detail. Students, what is a verb? A verb is a word that expresses action, state of being or belongingness. We also say that an action verb shows what a subject does. Now let us see some few examples for action verbs. For example, close, open, sleep, stand, raise, listen, sit. All these are called as action verbs. For example, here, the pune rings the bell. Now here, we ask the question as what does the pune do? The pune rings the bell. So ring is an action verb over here. It's a doing word. Second example, Anil kicked the ball. So Anil kicked the ball. Here kick is the verb that is the doing word. Now students, action verbs you have been already taught. And this is the easy one that most students have already been taught that verbs are action words. We know that words are verbs are action words. And action can be physical or mental. For example, in physical actions, we say the words like run, swim, speak, move, cheer, jump, breathe, eat, kick, clap, etc. And in mental action verbs, we always use the examples as think. Dream, ponder, remember, believe, wonder, imagine, forget as such. Now students, state of being verb. Now here, it describes a state, not an action. In state of being verb, it describes a state, not an action. The most common being verbs are a form of be itself. Some examples are am, is, are, was, were, be, being and been. Now we shall see one example here. The king was kind. Here the verb was. Here the word was is verb over here. And kind is an adjective. They will be happy. So here the verb is will be and happy is an adjective. Now students we are going to see. What are verbs which show belongingness or possession? Now, here the example, the elephant has a trunk. The word has shows that what belongs to the elephant. Second example, they have a new car. The word have shows what belongs to them. So, verbs like have, has, had denote belongingness are called as verbs. A verb is used to say or assert something about a person or thing. It says what a person or thing does, what a person or thing is or what a person or thing has. So, there can never be a sentence without a verb. So, we always use a sentence with a verb. A verb may be made up of only one word or it may be made up of two or more than two words. For example, Gopal wrote a beautiful poem. The carpenter is making a table. We will be leaving for Agra tomorrow. Now here the third example here that is we will be leaving for Agra tomorrow. It is made up of more than two words. So students, I hope so you all have understood this topic very well. Verbs which is very easy. Now, students, we will see the exercise which will be given, which is given on page 52 and 53. I will be sharing this exercise on the group. Thank you, students.